Hey folks, this is IOE Thurman back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Off Duty Ninja. And this is a tier 10 game on Cliff. And what's he in? He is in the <laughs> EBR 105. This is the obvi oh, it's obviously the tier 10 tracked vehicle. I can't wait to get one of these for myself. I may I may actually pay real 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 money in order to free experience my way all the, all, the, all the way up but good lord do I want one anyways so this is the, actually the first game I've seen is it the second game I've seen with one it might, mm, I don't remember I want to say first but my my mind is so messed up right now I'm still sick if you haven't noticed um the last time I started this game I failed because the, the, the coughing got too bad so we're gonna hope this goes perfectly fine all the way through if it doesn't I'm sorry if there's jump cuts I'm sorry um, all that stuff I'm sorry I do have to put up an ad right here for war war rising though still sponsored for the channel and this particular video if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff and the you know the weapons and tactics and you know Stuff from the World War One, World War Two era. If you're gonna be interested in this game, and if you guys are watching World Tanks, you are probably interested in that era. So I, I thought the two connected real well. Please go download it. Please, um, even a few minutes of play, whatever, sink hours into it, sink minutes into it. Either way, will help the channel out quite a bit. And I suggest you guys all play. I played it so. Yeah, great. Add over with. Let's get back to the why we're here. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, before I get back into the game, I do need to say sorry for the weekend. Uh, I d really meant to get a game out on Saturday. I thought I was going to be able to. I was recording, all ready to get a game out on Saturday, and of course, my uh, my computer just died. Um, I don't know what happened to it, but it restarted this morning perfectly fine. It restarted yesterday perfectly fine, but it, it did not, it wouldn't do it up for me over the weekend, so. Yay. Hopefully now everything is fine, and it will stay that way until I can get the pieces for the new computer, and after that it can die all I want it. All at once, I don't care after that. Uh, but we got HE goaded, which is an odd choice. I think he thought he was going to encounter a scout on the way up here. He obviously didn't. So he's still got HE goaded, and he's going to pop a pot shot into the side of somebody. And it's not going to do what he thinks it's going to do. Oh, we got spotted. Uh, he definitely did not intend to get spotted. I don't actually know what would what, what lit us. Maybe the 5120? I don't think the 45 would have lit us. Uh, M103. Oh, he's got a heat round loaded now. He's going to pop into the side of that 103. He didn't actually need a heat round for the side of that 103 turret. That 103 turret is like Swiss cheese. You can hit it with pretty much whatever you want to. It's going to go through as long as you're actually shooting in the side and not head on. Uh, head on the 103 turret will be pretty hard to pen. But not when it's like that. <laughs> when it's like that, you can fire a cotton ball at it. It'll go straight through. Um, more or less. <laughs> okay, so obviously right now he's just trying to avoid getting hit by artillery while he skips us as much as possible. I mean, apparently this 103 wants to get shot by us because he's continually putting himself in positions where it's going to be easy enough to shoot him. And so far this poor guy has lost most of his health. And now that... <laughs> Ninja has realized this guy's just going to keep doing this stupid stuff over and over again. He's reloading standard shells because he doesn't need premium. Um, no, shooting at the front of a T-62A. He's got to aim carefully or he would have needed premium for that. I don't remember what the pen is on this gun. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wasn't, it wasn't extraordinary. Um, but assuming he can pen, he can do some significant damage. Uh, mostly based on reload space. Speed. Hmm. Of course, if we can't see him, it's going to be hard to shoot him. Ooh, a grill. Moving through the open completely unawares. 
Wait a second here. <laughs> How did you bounce off the armor on the grill? I thought the thing had paper mache around it. I mean, the standard B is going to be annoying in that location, but... It's still... Uh, we didn't see that show on the ground. That may have actually connected. We'll have to look in the stats later on. Or if we see him pop up, will he be on less than full health? Um, but there's no point in saying a second shot down there. If the first shot connected, there's no reason to believe he'd sit in the same location. And of course, we're... Ooh! If you'd managed to flip that, I would have broadcast this and everybody would have laughed. I would have laughed. Thank you for not flipping it, though. I uh, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to... I guess, obviously, I will at some point. But it's going to take me a while to get over the, the fact that these things can go quickly in either direction. That you don't you need to swing the whole vehicle around to, to zip in one direction or the other. Um, it's it's going to take me a while to, to get over that. <laughs> there is, like, no real front to the vehicle. Um, though, I guess, obviously, it does technically have a front. Oh yeah, let's grab our first real kill of the game on the 5120. That was actually the first thing we got spine damage on in the game. And the first thing we kill. And ooh, tries to do the same with the standard B, but the standard B was looking. And in fact, all we do is get ourselves shot. He's going to get himself shot again if he pokes out. But in fact, artillery comes to the rescue with a little bit of damage. Standard B is going to get distracted eventually. But I think it's going to be too late. Uh, wait, did we just do... Oh. That's, uh, that's nice damage for an average of 390. I, I wasn't expecting us to kill him. I was expecting us to leave him on which is like a sliver of health. And, uh... I was thinking we'd like Amaract him or something. No, no, we just high rolled. I mean, it doesn't not happen, but it seems to me it happens fairly <laughs> unregularly. <laughs> uh, it seems a lot more likely that you're going to low roll than high roll. Though, we've seen that standard B since we last took a pot shot at him. It is actually really possible that we did in fact connect that pot shot. Um, I don't think Ninja really wants to get down off this hill quite yet. He's still concerned about the grill on our flank. Um, though, of course, if the grill's rolled all the way back down the hill, he's not much of a threat anymore. Um, and if Ninja can squeeze around the side without getting spotted by that standard B, then he's got a serious possibility of just attacking the grill from above. And... Ooh... That was a nice shot. Good hit. Nice high damage roll. It's unfortunately not quite able to kill the standard B. Um, but it should leave him in such a position that he can't really threaten the Centurion poking up on him anymore. Hello, Mr. Uh, Waffentrager. Oh, uh, that was probably not what he wanted to feel. But we're going to take it. Oh, GW's definitely aiming in. Go it up. Fire. And... Ow. Well, that's going to leave a mark. But thankfully, it's nothing that we really like needed to spend anything on. It got repaired fast enough. We really didn't need to blow consumables over it. Though, if he gets shot in the face by a grill, he's going to need to spend a consumable on that. Um. Oh, the artillery kill on the move. And the grill's falling way back here. Way out of possibility of shooting us. Um, so, it's not going to ambush us from here like, you know, I was worried about for a second. Nah, we're going to have to be careful about sneaking this shot in. Unfortunately, that last shot missed. Though, that one may have been only one of, like, two shots this whole game that didn't hit the target. So, overall, this was a good game. I really enjoyed it. I, um, I'm glad I got to see what this thing can truly do. And I, I honestly, I can't wait for the next time I see this thing out on the battlefield. I can't help but wonder, if you get tracked in this thing, does it pop your tires? I've never looked all that close. 
So, what do you guys think? First person gets themselves tracked has to show me if it pops their tires, okay? That's that's the plan. Okay, let's jump over and see what his battle results are. Not bad. First class master badge, spotter, bruiser, duelist, fire for effect, and fighter. 18 bonds. Pascucci, scout, patrol duty, high caliber, and tank sniper. These two are not something you see on the same vehicle a lot. It takes a lot to get a patrol duty. It takes a lot more to get a scout. But to get a high caliber and those two, that's some impressive scout work combined with some just some overall just nastiness. Takes a lot of aggressiveness to get that high caliber and takes a lot of good scouting work to get the, the other two. So well done, sir. Just uh, all the way along. It was a good fight, good game, and I'm glad we got to see it. Thank you so much, Ninja, for sending this in. And thank you to everybody who's been continuing to send me emails and everything else, even though I know it went dark for a few days. And hopefully this week and from now on will be perfectly fine. Though I must admit my power may go out as I'm currently in the middle of one storm nearly as bad as two years ago the last time the power went out. So we'll see. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Please check out World War Rising. And I'll see you all next time. This is IOE Fair.